Hey, what's up everyone? I'm gonna be doing some predictions for the showcase for E3 this year. I'll mention some console updates and new games and hopefully they'll make it to E3 just for fun. Alright, the first thing to go over is Project Scorpio for Microsoft. First, we should be able to get an official name for it. Also, we gotta finally see the official look of the console and maybe a VR addition for the Xbox One or Project Scorpio. Aside from visual upgrades and being a powerful console, we have to see what Project Scorpio has to offer. Okay, the Nintendo Switch has officially launched this year, so what better time to announce games but in E3? Maybe Nintendo could showcase the new Mario Odyssey game, maybe more exclusive games. And now that we mentioned Nintendo, they finished selling all their batches of the NES classics. Maybe Nintendo could take advantage and start marketing on the SNES classics. Just a thought I would like to share. Alright, so it's been a while since we got an update from Rockstar for Red Dead Redemption 2. Maybe we could get some gameplay or another updated trailer. Red Dead 2 is definitely going to be a hot title that shouldn't be missed on E3. And while we're on the topic of Rockstar games, Rockstar can also tease a future GTA title. I mean, now is a great time. We don't need a full trailer or anything like that. Just a logo or something to hint a new GTA since Red Dead 2 is the current focus from Rockstar. Alright, let's talk about Killer Instinct, a game that I go over a lot on this channel. Now, this game has been out since the launch of the Xbox One, and it's amazing how this title is still running on 3 seasons. However, since all the old school characters are now available on the current rosters, what else can KI do? Maybe a sequel? Or maybe a Killer Instinct Season 4 with nothing but brand new characters? Also, we need to get the reveal of the final character, but I kind of doubt that will be an E3 reveal. Okay, while we're talking about Killer Instinct, let's talk about Street Fighter V. Now, let's be honest, the experience for this game hasn't been really great, but I am at least hoping that Catcon can announce something to improve the game experience. This will be a topic I will continue to bitch about, but come on Catcon, give us some more offline features, specifically in arcade mode. Give us a special stage to get some fight money, and give us another story mode. By the way, I should do a Shadow Fallen review video. But yeah, chances are if Catcom reveals the story mode, the last remaining characters for Street Fighter V 2017 will be revealed. And speaking of Catcom games, we gotta see more from Marvel vs. Catcom Infinite. Show us more characters, more content, trailers, a demo maybe. The possibilities for Catcom at E3 are now endless. They can't have their own showcase taking up the whole hour, really. They could also tease something for the Resident Evil 2 remake. Come on Capcom, you know the fans want it. I actually have the original and if they show off the remake and I could just imagine the visuals looking amazing just like how they did for the Resident Evil remake. So this is definitely something fans look forward to. Not to mention there's fan made remakes of the Resident Evil 2 game. That just proves how much we want this to get made. Also we could get some updates on the Resident Evil 7 DLC too. And if they want to go the extra mile, they could also take advantage and announce some Overlook and Obscure games from the past. Maybe something like a new Ghost and Goblins, a God Hand game, a Darkstalker game, a Devil May Cry game, Dino Crisis, Mega Man. <laughs> so many titles on the Catcon game library. Catcon needs to do something with these titles. Okay, now this one is a stretch. But what's up with Kingdom Hearts 3? This is a title that should have came out last generation, to be honest, and it was teased a few years back on the launch of the Xbox One and PS4. So we gotta get an update, and speaking of long updates, what's up with Final Fantasy VII Remake? Oh boy, these Square Enix games and their fan favorite franchises take forever. I'm sure the wait will be worth it. Maybe. Okay, so the last game I want to go over and predict is Cobain. This is a game made by Bandai Namco and it's an RP action game just like Dark Souls and Bloodborne. I love the visuals with the anime look but with the Dark Souls mechanic. It has a great combo. Dark Souls, Vampire, Anime, awesome. Anyways, hopefully we can see more of this title at E3. Now I'm sure there's more titles to go over but honestly I probably wouldn't care for some of them like Call of Duty for example. But anyways, what are your predictions for E3 this year? What do you expect and hope to see at E3? Don't forget that E3 is June 13th through the 15th. 
leave your thoughts, leave a like if you liked the video, hit the bell for notifications, and make sure to subscribe for more content. I am out. Peace.